Hey y'all, it's been a minute, um, but I wanted to share this revelation with y'all, and you see all this word that God gave me, and what today's word is going to be about is to stop, well, do not be jealous of unbelievers. So first I'm going to share this scripture with y'all, it's Ecclesiastes 6 verses 4 through 9, and it says, it is senseless when a baby is born dead. The baby is quickly buried in a grave. The baby never saw the sun and never knew anything. But the baby finds more rest than the man who never enjoyed what God gave him. He might have lived, he might live 2,000 years, but if he doesn't enjoy life, then the baby was born, then the baby who was born dead has found the easiest way to the same end. People work and work to feed themselves, but they are never satisfied. In the same way, a wise person is no better than a fool is. It is better to be a poor person who knows how to accept life as it is. It is better to be happy with what you have than to always want more and more. Always wanting more and more is useless. It is like trying to catch the wind. Most people only care about chasing money. It is the most important thing that they care about in life. You might see people with a lot of money and think, God, why can't you bless me like that? Or God, how come they have everything they want, but I don't? It may seem like a blessing, but rich people are not happy people. They they keep searching for something to fulfill them. They keep thinking that they can buy things to make them happy. But in the end, it can't be bought. Peace can't be bought. Happiness can't be bought. Joy can't be bought. We know that only Jesus, Jesus can give us true peace. So this is why God tells us not to be envious or to be jealous of unbelievers because at the right time, he will make it happen for us. We will receive those blessings when we are ready to handle them. Because in this waiting time, God will do the teach, teach us things that are needed, like teaching us patience through it all. And when we have patience, then that's when we can be thankful of it. Because we went through this and we have to do that in order to, before we got to that blessing. And so then we can be thankful for the blessing that God has given us. So we are better off than those who are rich or better off than those who rush their wealth because we know to give glory to God when those blessings come. So keep spreading the love of God and keep doing good and enjoy your short time on this earth because earthly riches is nothing compared to the eternal glory and eternal life that you will have in heaven with Jesus. But that's all. Jesus loves you. Talk to you later.